Dear students, now we are going to discuss the resonance in series RLC circuit and its characteristics in detail. Let's start with this resonance in AC circuit. So in any AC circuit, the resonance occurs only at a particular frequency that is known as a resonant frequency. So at certain frequency, the AC circuit can act as a purely resistive circuit. That means it is having minimum impedance value at the time the maximum amount of power is transferred. So that is called as a resonance. So resonance means maximum power is transferred in the electric circuit. So here we can consider RLC series circuit. So in this the resonance occurs when the current and the applied voltage both are in phase. Then there is no phase difference that phi value is equal to 0. If the phi value is equal to 0, then the power factor of the circuit is always unity. As we know that the power factor is cos phi, so cos 0 is equal to 1. So whenever the power factor is 1, we can get the maximum amount of power in the circuit. So here, at resonance condition, the circuit can act as a a resistive circuit because the voltage and current both are in phase in a resistive concept. So at the time what will happen to this inductor and capacitor? So here inductor is having the inductive reactance, capacitor is having the capacitive reactance. So these two reactance values are equal. So both can be cancelled each other. Then the circuit can act as a a resistive one. Do you all understand this concept? So at resonance condition this XL value is equal to XC. So in general for this RLC series circuit the impedance can be given as R plus J into XL minus XC. So at resonance condition XL is equal to XC. So here we can get modulus of Z is equal to only the resistance value. So here the circuit can act as a purely resistive one. Do you all understand this concept? At this resonance condition, the impedance becomes minimum. That means the current is maximum in the circuit. If the current is maximum, then the circuit transfers maximum energy. Do you all understand this concept? So here at resonance condition, we can get the maximum energy without any distortion. So this concept is widely used in radio receiver concept or radio tuning circuit. So next applications of resonance in AC circuit. Resonance condition is widely used in radio tuning, filtering, power transfer systems. So it is also used to analyze the musical notes in musical instruments that is to increase the volume of that musical notes in the musical instruments. Okay. And also to tune the radio receiver and TV broadcasting system, it is also used to find the unknown frequency with reference to the resonant frequency. Next, we are going to derive the resonant frequency for this RLC circuit. So this is very important parameter because at this frequency, the impedance is minimum and the power is maximum in the electric circuit. Okay, so here we can consider a series RLC circuit. So since all the elements are connected in series, here the current is same but the voltage is divided among the elements. So voltage drop across this resistor is Vr, voltage drop across this inductor is Vl, voltage drop across this capacitor is Vc. So according to Ohm's law, the voltage drop across this resistor is equal to I into R. Similarly, we can get the voltage drop across the inductor is equal to J into I into XL. So here we can consider the reactance value as an imaginary one. So we can take J I into XL. This XL is nothing but the inductive reactance of this inductor. So XL is equal to 2 pi F into L. So this inductive reactance is directly proportional to the frequency. So here the voltage drop across this capacitor is minus J 
I into Xc. The capacitor has negative reactance value with respect to frequency. So here Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. So here capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to frequency. Okay. So these are the basic concepts. So now we can get the total applied voltage by using Kirchhoff's voltage law. That is voltage rise is equal to the sum of voltage drops in the closed loop. So here we can say the input voltage is equal to the sum of all the voltage drops Vr plus Vl plus Vc. Simply we can substitute all these values here. So Vr is nothing but I into R. Vl is J into I into Xl. Vc is minus J I Xc. So here I is the common term we can take it outside. So I into R in these two terms J is a common one. We can take it outside. So I into R plus J into XL minus XC. So this term can be written as Z. That is the impedance of this RLC circuit that is equal to resistance plus J into the difference of this reactance values XL and XC. So Z is equal to R plus J XL minus XC. Do you all understand this concept? So at resonant condition, that is at a particular frequency, this inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance. Correct? Both can be cancelled. So this term becomes 0. We can get impedance is equal to R. That is purely a resistive element. So since the impedance is minimum, the current is maximum. Hence, the minimum power is transferred in the circuit. Okay? So here at resonance condition XL is equal to XC. So at resonance condition XL is equal to XC means we can simply substitute its formula here. XL is nothing but 2 pi FL. So here we can use the term FR. Here this R represents the resonance frequency. Okay, so XL at resonance condition can be written as 2 pi FRL that is equal to XC can be written as 1 by 2 pi FRC. So here we are going to find out the resonant frequency. So if you want to find out this resonant frequency, we can move this resonant frequency to this side and move this 2 pi L to this side. Correct? Then we can get FR squared is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 2 pi 4 pi squared L into C. Then we can take the square root on both the sides to get the resonant frequency. So FR is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. So this is a very important formula to find out the resonant frequency. So by adjusting the values of L and C we can get the resonant condition. Do you all understand this one? Next we are going to discuss the important characteristics of RLC series circuit at resonance condition. So first the phasor diagram at resonant condition. So here XL is equal to XC. That means the impedance is purely resistive one. So here the circuit can act as a, a resistive circuit. So at that time the current and the voltage both are in phase. Okay. There is no leading and lagging of current. The current and voltage both are in phase. This is the phasor diagram for RLC series circuit at resonant condition. Okay. Do you all understand this one? So in this condition, here the impedance is minimum, current is maximum, then the maximum power is transferred. Okay, so next, reactance curves at resonance condition. So for this inductive reactance, this value is directly proportional to frequency. For this capacitive reactance, it is inversely proportional to the frequency. So here we can draw the reactance curve between the frequency and the reactance values. So for this inductive reactance, its value is increased with respect to the frequency. If frequency increases, the inductive reactance is also getting increased. But for this capacitive reactance, if the frequency is increased, the reactance value is getting decreased. So here the capacitor is having the negative reactance. We can draw the reactance curve in this side. But at resonant condition, 
these two XL and XC both are equal. So we can select this point at this resonant frequency. XL and EXC both are equal. Then we can draw the reactance curve like this at this resonant frequency. Do you all understand this one? So next one is impedance curve that is the curve between the impedance and frequency. So at resonant condition here the impedance is minimum 1. It is having only the resistance value there is no reactances at this point. So if the frequency is less than this resonant frequency here it can act as a capacitive reactance. If it is greater than the resonant frequency, it can act as an inductive reactance. But at this resonant frequency, it is having only the resistance value that is pure resistance. Okay. So similarly, we can have the current versus frequency. That is current curve. In this one, whenever the impedance is minimum, the maximum amount of current is flowing through the circuit. So impedance is minimum means the maximum amount of current is flowing. If impedance is maximum, the minimum amount of current is flowing. So impedance and current both are inversely proportional. Do you all understand this one? So if we are going to take the half power current value, this is the peak value, correct? So if we are going to take the half power values, okay, half power values is nothing but square root of 2 into IM. So this is the maximum value at resonant frequency. If I am going to get the half power values, then this is known as lower cutoff frequency FL or F1. This is known as the upper cutoff frequency. Okay, or F2. So here we can find out the bandwidth that is the difference between the upper cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency that is known as bandwidth of this resonance circuit. Do you all understand?